Hi, welcome to this video on measuring actually tonight the hotness of Tabasco sauce. Now I know we've had people comment before, we did used to do a lot of, and um, when we do much more early generations of the food sense generation for the Scoville meter, and um, which is in front of me, we did do a lot of Tabasco sauce. We've certainly changed since then. We do have, you know, for example, I just made a De Bomb um, video recently measuring the Scoville heat unit of De Bomb, and I'm very shortly going to be working on um, something called Psycho Juice. So I don't want you to think that we're just using Tabasco, but I have some scientific reasons, um, part of customer support um, that I'm actually testing uh, Tabasco sauce um, this evening. With that, let me just go forward with a um, few slides. Um, so I've taken the um, McKin the McKinley's company's um, Tabasco sauce. Um, I've um, measured out a volume of it and I've added a volume of that um, to the um, chili buffer and I will talk about um, the chili buffer and those those um, ratios um, as well so as you can probably tell from the um, second video that or well, not second video but you can probably tell that I've got the um, food set generation 4 in front of me it's in Bluetooth connection with my phone um, and my Android phone I'll make a I'll start making a measurement on the hotness of that um, briefly as I said I've actually got a pipette here so I have been able to um, measure out um, accurate volumes and I also have a vortex in front of me and I will mention that in a bit. So I have taken 0 0.1 milliliters of Tabasco sauce. Often when you see um, us making these kind of videos, especially I made one as I say the other night just on the bomb. The bomb is um, much thicker and in fact there I rather than 0.1 mils I weighed out 0.1 um, grams and I also did a much higher dilution because the bomb has um, a lot more um, capsaicin in it. And we've discussed the solubility of capsaicin um, in previous videos and why we um, do these different um, dilutions. That said, um, um, Tabasco, this Tabasco sauce is actually one of the sort of um, sort of least viscous of all the kind of sauces that we am handling. Um, and actually you can um, pipette it. That said, we took 0.1 mils of the um, Tabasco, put it with 0.9 mils of the buffer. I definitely vortexed it. I mean, Tabasco is one of the ones that kind of doesn't really require necessarily so much vortexing because um, it is already so sort of fine. It's not lots of chunks. The extraction of the capsaicin is, is quite straightforward, but I did um, actually um, um, vortex it. Um, with that said, let me just um, go ahead now and I will grab one of these um, chili sensors. I'll actually just change um, here for a second. And um, I'll put the chili sensor into um, the meter. That's done that. I'll just get um, some of the sample. As I say, this is, I did 0.1 milliliters of the Tabasco in 0 0.9 milliliters of the um, buffer um, and I did vortex it and I got this um, sample um, and I will just get myself 50 microliters of that which I've now got I will just put that onto the um, sensor like that it's just one thing I should have done I'm just going to tell I'm just going to give that a file name um, it's not something I've really spelt out in this particular video, but every time we do a measurement, even though I'll get the result on my um, phone, and my dilution here is 1 in 10, so I've got a choice of 1 in 10, 1 in 100, 1 in 1,000, 1 in 10,000. This is 1 in 10. So even though I've got um, the... Um, even though I haven't spelt it out, actually, when I've done this assay, um, the result will immediately um, go to the cloud as well. So you, get a, you effectively get a result on your um, phone, but especially for people doing kind of quality control in kind of production or incoming quality control or outgoing quality control and you want to kind of have that kind of um, traceability on it, but also because we actually get all the raw data, um, it really helps um, with the sort of defense of, you know, of the results as well. So I've got a result here of 2,784 Scoville units. If you do look up Tabasco online, you'll find that it's sort of, sometimes people say 2,000, sometimes 2,500, but it has a range between either 2,000 to 5,000 or 2,500 to 5,000 Scoville heat units. Um, it's not super difficult for us to measure that. Um, but that said then, um, what we do have, and I'm just gonna change um, 
screens um, quickly as well. Um, so this is um, the raw signal. So we do do videos about what this raw signal means, but it, um, it's super useful for us because in fact, you know, this is a kind of classic capsaicin signal. Don't forget, I only did a one in 10 dilution. It's very clear, this signal. Um, and then we kind of process the data and, you know, we get the, um, the height. Um, we get the peak height out of this and then we can calculate back the Scoville heat unit. Now I'm not expecting everyone um, who's watching this to necessarily um, become, let's say an electrochemist. And in fact, there it is 2,784 Scoville heat units. Um, but it's just to say that you can have a sort of certainty that if you're challenged, you get the result on your phone. And um, I realize that's a little bit bleached out, but you get the, you get the result on your phone and the result is also saved along with the raw data to the cloud. And that really helps, um, let's say troubleshoot. Um, with that said, let me just sort of wrap up and say, um, if you've got any questions of ZP or you want to see other demos, like I say, um, it was Tabasco this evening, but that was for a particular scientific purpose. I'm just supporting a client. I did make a video on um, to bomb, and that just went up um, 24 hours before this one. And I'm as soon as I've got a little bit of a moment, I'll also test this um, psycho source as a psycho juice rather um, as well. So if you have any questions of ZP and the Food Sense um, Generation 4, which is here, some people can refer to it, the Scoville meter, um, essentially don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.